Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Huts, and today we're going to be talking about a few more input types. And these input types are the same as the last, they're just really helpful. They add all sorts of different options when you're trying to have a form. It's not just the standard text field or text area. So uh, let's get started. And this is going to be a new type of list. So uh, we're going to, the values can be for this type of list, it can be all sorts of things. So we're just going to use a type of, um, let's see, input. And for the type, we're just going to leave the type as text. However, here we can give it a list. And we're going to say list is equal to, and uh, we're going to have an ID. So this will be, uh, let's just have this be input list, just so we can uh, have this easy to be remembered. However, of course, in your form, you probably want to do it a little bit. Something more that has to do with your form itself. And uh, that's great. So here we have an input type that's just looking for a list of input list. So now we have to create this list and we can do that with data list. And inside of data list, we can add an ID and this ID will be equal to input list. Great. And now we're just going to have options similar like you would for a select list. So we're going to have an option value and it's just going to be um, val1 and let's see it's uh, label is also going to be uh, val1 like this and I'm just going to copy this line here and repeat it a couple times just so we have some options in our list so value 2 value 3 just to keep these a little bit different okay now let's save this let's come back to our site refresh, we see just a normal text area, but when we type in V, it has these options for us. Uh, and I mean, if we type in anything else, it's not going to. However, it's pre-selected with this option list. And now if I click value one or value two, whatever, it shows up. Now keep in mind, you can use this uh, with other types of input types. So this is great. This is the input type with a list. And now let's try an input type of email. So you can see we're just stacking up these input types. There's a lot. And it's really great. I, one of my favorite things about HTML5 is all of the variety here for your forms. So let's do input type of email this time. Now let's refresh. So although it looks just like a normal text area, this input type is actually going to be automatically validated upon form submission and it's going to be looking for an email itself and and what's great about this also is that smartphones with their uh, keyboards that pop are going to recognize this as being an email field and phones like the iphone or android are going to add things like the at symbol or dot com to the keyboard because that makes it easier to fill out when you're filling out the form. So this is a great thing to do for your users just as a usability issue. So similarly, we can also have one that's for a URL and it's nearly the same thing. So we're gonna have input type URL. So this, like the email one, looks just like a normal text area, but on, on uh, smartphones, it's going to have the .com. So it's also automatically validated when a form submitted to, to make sure that this is in fact a URL. That way you don't have to do it with JavaScript or regex, that sort of thing. So we have another one and it's going to be an input type of tell. And tell is for telephone numbers. So you might not notice a difference and there in fact isn't really any support at this moment for a telephone, but it exists. And in the future, it's probably going to do things like uh, have the phone, um, you know, keyboards show the correct thing or proper validation, that sort of thing. So keep in mind, all this stuff's a little fresh. So things like this, you know, might not have support at the moment, but when you're watching this video, it might already be supported. So we have one more input type I'm going to go over today, and it's going to be the search. So input type search. Let's save this and let's refresh. So this one you'll notice is also a text area. These ones have been considerably boring compared to the last video. However, this does let your browser know that this input is a search box. It's great to let the browser know what is what, like this is a search box, there's a telephone, any sort of thing like that. So we may see 
you know different things and different browser support coming up for these and uh, in fact once these are a little bit more well supported maybe a year from now or whenever I might have to make an update to this video just to show some of these cool new features Great, so these are the form types that we're gonna be going over. In the next video, I'm gonna be talking about some new attributes for form elements for inputs. Uh, and that's gonna be really cool. So there's some, some fancy stuff going on. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter, Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. We always love to hear from you. Thanks again for watching. All right, bye-bye.